All right, today's March 8th. We're here with Ellie Hynote. Ellie Hynote is a medical doctor and not just any medical doctor. She was former president of the American College for Advancement in Medicine, the United States' largest organization of alternative doctors, a very powerful organization. And uh, Ellie came to me for Lyme disease. Ellie, can you elaborate on the Lyme disease and your co-infections? Yes, I, um, I've had Lyme disease for about four or five years. It was originally false negative tests, um, and after a few I think years, that's because you told me that your immune system was so weak it yes, couldn't mount a response, correct? Exactly. I had a false okay. negative. Even with Igenix, my antibody levels couldn't um, be measured because I was too sick to make the antibodies. So I did provocation testing. I stayed on therapy for Lyme for about a month. I repeated the titers, and sure enough, I had... Um, confirmed Lyme disease. What therapy did you have for Lyme at that time? Was it antibiotics? At that time, I started with oral antibiotics. Since I wasn't getting better, it was getting worse. We switched to IV Rocephin for about four months. Again, I was getting worse, not better. So I was convinced I probably had a co-infection. So we tested for Babesia. Again, Babesia was a false negative. So as soon as I knew that Babesia symptoms, I did a provocation testing for that, and after one month of some Mepron and Azithromycin, I repeated the blood test for Babesia, and it came up positive. So then I stayed on. How long have you been sick? How many years? Four or five years. Okay. Since 2007. All right. So finally, about four, five months ago, I started treatment for Babesia, Duncanny, and that was IV clindamycin for five months straight, uninterrupted did you, treatment. Did you get any better? Yes, much better. So a month ago, the sweats went away completely. And then suddenly, about a week ago, the headaches just about disappeared. When I had been living with severe head pain, requiring heavy pain medication for the last couple of years. But when you also started with us for oxidation therapy, yes. didn't you? Yes, we long? did uh, oxidation therapy. We did ozone and the ultraviolet light when I first came in, when you first discovered there was a problem with the old root canal teeth. And I went on all the supplements you suggested, and I did all the therapies that you suggested. And the most important of which was getting the old root canal tooth that you felt was infected, out. The tooth didn't hurt. All I knew was I had pain, that head pain that was at this point bilateral, not just on one side. I had bilateral severe head pain. No one was suspicious of this tooth before you came to no. see me. Is that correct? That's right. And I told all the doctors, including an infectious disease expert on the oral facial mandibular um, anatomy from UCSF. I went to him and I told him that since I'd been on Invisalign treatment that I thought something was moved around so differently that it was making the pain worse than it ever was. And I told him I thought it was coming from this area and then emanating up to my brain, but he said, I don't think it has anything to do with your teeth. And he was wrong. What was the first thing that I did with you when you walked in my door? The first thing you did was to look in my mouth and to ask me about any root canals in my teeth. And I told you that many years ago, after I had the original root canal about 12 years ago, um, you tested it and you felt like it was okay, the root canal, so I didn't have it removed. But this time when you tested me, you found a completely different situation. You were able to pick up right away. You were 95% sure there was a severe infection with this root canal. And I sent you to a dentist and what sent you... me to the oral surgeon and you told me most importantly, do a 3D X-ray, something like a Galileo scan. And Dr. Javis in Santa Rosa has a very similar scan and he showed unequivocally on that digital scan that I had infection from the, under the roots all the way into my sinus cavity. There wasn't even any closure. In fact, it was a hole for my tooth leaking out pus from above. 
that no dentist had told me about. No one had ever said there was anything, even though I've been going to dentists, even though I went to another oral surgeon two or three years ago and asked for a panoramic view, what could he do to analyze if this root canal was bad? Sounds Nobody like, knew. Sounds like you're frustrated that you've been from dentist to dentist and it took you coming to me, a yes. medical colleague, to say, hey, you got a problem there, and it turned out I was right. And you were right on. Right. So I've lost five years. What has happened to you? Now, I've done several oxidations with you, yes. and you're taking some of my supplements, and you are getting surgery on the tooth. How would you say your overall essence is on my program so far compared to the day you walked in the door? Um, much, much better. I'm able to think clearly that, that chronic um, pressure, this global t tension on top of my head, which has always felt tight and inflamed, has gone. I have just about no more head pain. And that's, this is after, you know, eight over 10 head pain for years. Um, and I've been going on escalating doses of pain medication just to be able to function on a daily basis. And do you need any more pain medication? I do, but I'm ratcheting it down rather quickly. Okay. How's your energy level? Oh, much better. I finally feel I can do some exercise. I haven't been able to do anything. If you walked in here with zero, meaning you had zero energy, you couldn't do anything, and 10 would be your normal self, what would you rate me? I would be about seven, six or seven. And I was really strong five years ago, um, but I'm, I'm not as strong as I, I was then, but I think I can get back. I'm probably a six or a seven. And you've only been with me about, what, six I'm weeks? Like a month. A month. That's it. So you're very pleased with the progress yes, you made. Yes, absolutely. Are you taking any antibiotics right now? Uh, I, feel, I feel like the Babesia is completely gone. The sweat stopped right after I got the last ozone treatment. Right, that's what I would expect. Yeah, stopped. And then it took about three or four weeks, and then all of a sudden the head pain disappeared. I, that's ex You're Just doing good. Just what you would think, yeah. Mm -hmm. And so I've stopped the clindamycin for the... Um, Babesia, and we're going to start treatment for the Lyme. I'll probably be doing Rosefin twice a day and do that for three or four months and see if we can knock out the Lyme now. Now I have a chance. Well, thank you. For the viewer, may I post this on YouTube? Yes, absolutely. Okay, for the viewer, I just want both of you, you and the viewer, to know that it's my belief that if you continued with aggressive oxidation therapy, we might be able to get your immune system to do the whole job, and you might not need antibiotics. You're okay, a doctor. The Rosefin, instead of doing the Rosefin, just try. Well, look how much better you yes. are already. Yeah. We, you're seven points better on a scale of 10, and yeah. that's in the face of what you think is continuing Lyme, and I'm not disputing that. Yeah. But you're so much better already on the supplements and the oxidation program. At this point, I would say... Let's stick with the oxidation for right now, okay. stay aggressive with it, and give that a chance rather than put antibiotics in your body and throw off your body's natural okay. flora. So would, would I do the um, ultraviolet light every other day or twice a week? A couple What's times a week. Two or three times a week? Yes. All right. I'll be here. I okay. thank you. I'm, I've got the infected tooth out. We did ozone under the infection. It was worse infect infection than the surgeon imagined. He was said it was much worse than he thought it was. I wasn't <laughs> surprised, was I? You know, and there was no. another man who had similar infection as me, who was in excruciating pain. He was on intravenous morphine. That's how bad the pain is from this. Wow. Okay. I want the viewers should know that what's in your mouth right now is just to cover up the bleeding from the from the site where it's cleaned yes. out. And I also want the viewer to know because I have other postings online. Usually the very first thing I do when you walk into my door is I want to know about your teeth, yes. right? Yes. And now you, you of all people, a medical doctor, yes, have experienced here. this. Right, right. You should have been here when? Yes, I should have been here in 07 when I started uh -huh. getting sick. Ellie, yes. thank you very much. All right. <laughs> thank you. Thank you.